Everyone's telling you your website speed is going to improve once you switch from sections to containers, which is great. But how are they going to impact your workflow? Do they make anything easier? Let's get into it real quick. First off, containers greatly reduce the amount of sections needed. You can nest containers, which means you can put a container into another container and so on as many times as you want, technically. Containers replace sections, columns and intersections in one go. This segment of the page would have to be built with at least two and probably more sections, but with containers, it's one large container with three containers nested inside it. What this means in practice though, is that if before you had a layout where you had to use several sections, but you wanted them to stylistically be a single segment of your page, they all had to have the same background color applied to them. Now you just apply that background color to the largest container and you're done. And adding in background images is also much easier with containers than it is with sections for for the exact same reason. You just add it to the largest container. Dealing with paddings and margins also gets easier and everything is much easier to manage and move around the page. If I want to move it, I just move the largest container and all of the containers inside it are gonna move with it before you would actually have to move every section individually. And because you can nest containers indefinitely, you're able to create layouts that are more complex than before. With sections and columns, after using intersections, that was it. You could not go deeper. And that made it next to impossible to achieve certain layouts. Secondly, responsive layouts become much simpler. Before, to achieve a layout like this, let alone something more complex, you would need at least two sections and possibly more. Now you can do it in one large container. Again, everything is easier to manage and faster to set up. You also get more options to change the order of your containers for different devices. In regards to nesting and responsiveness, controlling the spacing between different nested containers and controlling how many in a row you have becomes easy. You can very easily get layouts with several rows that are all gonna fall into place automatically. Before, with sections, this required numerous sections because there was no way to split your columns into two rows, except if you used intersections. But that came with trouble when it comes to making it responsive. With containers, you can split them into as many rows as you want to. Last but not least, Creating clickable content, such as these cards for example, is insanely easy with containers. To create clickable sections or columns, you would need either a plugin, CSS or JavaScript. And with containers, you just go into your container, go under additional options, HTML tag, choose a link and then add in your link. Really simple. All in all, once you make the switch from sections to containers and you actually get used to it, I think you're gonna find it's a great experience. For more great experiences, check out this video next and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.